All right, so apparently everybody needs a how-to video, how to install the graphic mod. So uh, what you're going to do, if you've gotten to the point of getting the mod, you're going to pick whichever one you want. The newest one is the one that my wife named, Jesus Tits. So you go download all of this nonsense, especially the citizen file. Once you've got everything downloaded, you're going to go into 5M. App data. You normally have your own citizen folder, whether or not you've freshly installed 5M, which I very much recommend you do, or if you are just replacing a previous one of mine. Delete this completely. Then you scroll down to here where it says caches and it's an XML file. It's usually only about 1 KB. Delete that guy. The reason why you have to delete this is if your 5M refuses to open, it's because this is still here. This catches new information from 5M. If you've changed too many files, it will automatically crash or close as soon as you open 5M. So you must delete this file as well as your normal citizen file. So once you've installed your citizen file, it's going to come in as a zip file. You just drag it right into the app data, the ENB, and all of these mini files here. These have to stay separate. The ENB folder is actually a folder. All of these must stay separate inside its own folder. Normally, they're all like this, right? One folder, everything in here. So usually when you download them, they will show up like this with all these mini files. Easy way to put them in, open your app data. You don't even have to actually open it. It's even simpler doing it that way. You just drag it into here. And then you drag these ones into here as well. So ENB series folder. I'm using a different one than what's in here. Eight files usually sitting in here. I'm not using it, so I don't have all eight. But they literally just sit, and they're all in sequential order right underneath your cache folder and they all sit right here as well so as soon as you've done downloading that then you just open up 5m and you're done i really recommend reinstalling 5m it just clears anything if you've never used my graphics mod if you've used some other graphics mod it's a lot easier if you just freshly install 5m it's everything becomes so much more simple just going to quickly log into a quick server here just to show you, make you see what you're supposed to see. If you have any issues, just rewind this video. Make sure you've deleted your cache folder. Do not drag and drop and let it replace. You must delete the citizen folder first and then delete that cache.xml file. If you're having any issues with 5M not opening, it's because you did not do one of those two things right. I'm just waiting for a server to load in here. It honestly does not matter which server you go into, it's going to work the exact same no matter what.
this is what your game better look like. Relatively. I have pretty much everything in my game maxed. Right now, I'm literally only recording. I'm at 80 FPS. That's usually what I sit at. Of course, I have an overclocked i7 with a 1080. If you're running just a decent computer, no reason why you can't get a minimum of 60. If we load in a quick cop car. Of course, this server is using only blue lights in the daytime. But still, this is your blue lights in the daytime. I'm pretty sure this server is locked at noon. So it's pretty good for noon. Now, if for whatever reason you don't like the brightness of something, open 5M, open app data, open citizen, open common, open data, visual settings.dat, you open that. I use Notepad. It's the easiest one to go through. If you don't like how bright the coronas are on police car lights, um, headlights, tail lights, signal lights, all of the global lighting, excluding traffic lights, you go all the way down to about line 846 is where it starts. Corona, size scale global, and intensity global. Normally, when you download any file, you download natural vision, if you download any other random file, it's gonna be normally about 1.2 for both of these. The less number, the smaller the corona. So if you put this at 0 0.9, 0 0.9, the corona size, the bloom around the lighting is going to be bigger. If you bring this down to a 0 0.2 and a 0 0.3, it's going to be a lot smaller as that big bloom circle. If you want to do the same thing to traffic lights, you scroll up just a little bit, you'll see the traffic light area here corona size is at 1.5 if you want to bring that smaller all you have to do is just click on the number not like a boob make it 0 0.9 i'll actually take the camera off that way you can see everything properly i didn't realize it was blocking it so you make this traffic light size corona size. That's how big the light is around the actual light. You'll notice what it is if you drive around at nighttime, raining, doesn't matter if you look at a cop car, if you look at the guy's tail lights right in front of you, you see the light in the lens. You also see a little bit of bloom around that light. So for this one and the ones below, these two here, that's if you don't like how big the bloom is. If you want to make any of your lights brighter, emissive bit, line 462. This light and this line are your police lights. You've also obviously got a nighttime on and a daytime on. If you want your daytime emergency lights to be brighter, make this a little bit brighter. Usually you only want to go to about 200 intervals, or 200 line intervals. Nighttime, I would only recommend making 10 digit intervals, because nighttime makes a hell of a lot more difference than daytime does. 
So if you want your headlights to be brighter, then it would be headlight day on. If you want your cop lights, your top light bar, your bumper lights, you want all that brighter in the daytime, you change this one. Everything else should be pretty self-explanatory. If you have any other questions, just send me a message on Discord. Catch me anywhere where you found my mod. Just ask for Morgan. That should be everything you need to know.